you were just trying to ram through this justice against your own words. This is a sham, and I just heard you talk about precedent. The closest precedent, which what matters to me, is what all of you said. And what you said, Mr. Chairman, and what Senator McConnell said are where he set the precedent. He said the American people should have a voice in the selection of their next Supreme Court justice. Therefore, when he was looking back at the Merrick Garland time, this vacancy should not be filled until we have a new president. This is even closer in time than that. And the best precedent that we really have is when Abraham Lincoln was president and it was the closest in time that we have had in history to this when a justice died closest to the election and he waited until after the election to make the selection. And I look at the words of my colleagues in this committee, people I work with very well all the time. I look at that historical example and I think it leads us to one, one end, and that is that we should allow the winner of the election to pick this nominee, that we should make sure that we do this after the election, and that we remember that we have literally millions and millions of people voting as we speak. You all know that. And the final thing that concerns me is that the president himself has been making it very clear why he wants this justice on the court. He says he wants nine people after the election. Uh, he says that he wants a court that's going to overturn Obamacare. He has made all of this clear. So to me, not only do you have your own precedent, not only do you have the example of Abraham Lincoln, but you have the fact that because of what this president has been saying, it undermines this process, undermines the court, and that is why we should delay. And the final word is why we are not working right now on a COVID relief package in the middle of a pandemic uh, is the final pits about this whole process, because that's what we should be doing. That's what the American people want. 74% of them say we should be doing that instead of working on this. Um, and I think the time has come uh, to be honest about what's going on here. Uh, you were just trying to ram through this justice against your own words in light of everything this president has said, where he won't even commit to a peaceful transition of power. That's the world we're in right now. It's not some ivory tower where people are talking, with all respect to one of my colleagues, about the dormant commerce clause. This is about peaceful transition to power and the effect that this has on people's lives, the effect it has on their lives when the Affordable Care Act is hanging in the balance and whether or not people are going to be kicked off of their health insurance for pre-existing conditions. That's what we should be focused on. Thank you. And I join Senator Blumenthal in his motion.